Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiversal video. Today is our very first speed, no, not speed draw. Today is our very first um, sketchbook tour. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've done for the day 8, day 9, and day 10 of the 10 a day challenge. Because the um, for the live stream when I timed to uh, when I tried to do day ten it just was not working out and it was being really laggy, so basically we're about to do that now. So, all right, Let's start at the very middle of this. Okay, so there's my Yeezys from day seven. All right, and I just want you guys to know that all of everything from my ten a day challenge is actually heavy, have pretty heavily referenced, like. For all of these pictures, I had to use a reference. I don't know if we were supposed to do that or not, but I had to because um, I don't. I didn't really know how to draw any of this. As you can see, I don't really get much practice with all this. But like, yeah. So these are heavily referenced. This one was actually my favorite. This not so much. This one was. This one was my favorite. And I got this. I'm actually really turned around. I don't know which way I was going anymore. And I have this, which was pretty nice, and then I have that, which is chillin', um, I, I wanted to practice holding hands a lot, and I did, which was pretty radical, and then this is like, somebody, like, I don't know if I could do that, but going like that, so they're definitely doing that, that was hands doing actions day 8 of the 10 a day, okay, so now we have patterns in background, this one was really easy, and I kind of didn't really like doing this one, but I figured I had to get it done, so I did it. And some of these are taken from uh, this project I had to do um, a while back. This, like, pattern drawing, I think it's like Zentangles or something like that, big pattern thing. But I really liked some of the things, so I ended up just using them. And this one, this page right here, this setup is my favorite, just because it looks the cleanest, I think. I used rulers for all these except for like little curves right here because you can't use rulers for that. So, all right, and then last pattern. All right, and this for this one, it said to choose somebody from a certain time period and draw people from it. So what I basically did is for most of these, I well for all of these, I chose the 1950s, and for most of these, I drew my characters in 1950s clothing. So this one is Kalia. She's chilling. I don't know what she's doing. This one is, um, and these, these three are the ones that I did in the live stream. I don't know if I still have that up, actually, I gotta check them out. This one's, um, Honey, this one's, um, this one's Kaija, then you have, these ones I fixed a lot, except for her. She's basically wearing what she wears now, because her, her design was already sort of a 1950s kind of throwback, because she was an assassin, and I tried to make her look like a 1950s assassin, but, like, in modern times. Actually, no, it's, like, future times. But, um, and then I have this guy right here. This guy has his hair all swept to the side. That one's Hisa. I'm not gonna say his full name, because it's too long and I'm too tired. So then we have, this one is Lesity. I love her so much. And I thought it'd be fun to draw her in a dress, because she's got all them curves, and, and it just would've worked. And this one, my friend told me to draw, because she actually kind of reminded me of, like, a pink lady. And so that's kind of what I drew for this one. And I think I draw that on the very last page, too. So, like, there you go. There's that page right there. And these are not any of my characters. These are just kind of people that I made on the spot when I was drawing people from the 1950s. This is what a girl would have typically looked like with the eyeliner and the hair and uh, lipstick and all that. And this is a greaser, which was actually pretty fun to draw. He was... Definitely enjoyable, but I like with the with the greaser. I referenced a picture, and I very loosely went off of it, but it helped me like build the facial structure because I um, I don't draw boys a lot, and so this kind of helped me out with that a little bit. And last drawing, this I don't know who she is, what she is, why she's wearing what she's wearing, but I look up 1950s clothing, and this is what it gave me. So I drew this. Um, it's actually one of the more random ones. So, like, you seen it? You seen it? Okay. So that, my friend, were the 10 a day challenges. It was day 8, 9, and 10, which was hands doing actions, pattern and background, and picking a time period and drawing people from it. 
So this concludes my 10 a day guys. I'm finally done with this. I've got a hundred drawings together with see all of my sketchbooks. So I have this one, this one, this one, and then. So this all together holds 100 drawings. And I'm finally done after day 10. And I'm so glad. And also before I go, I just like to apologize for the weight on this. Because like this um this was supposed to be posted yesterday, and then a speed draw was supposed to be posted today, which the speed draw is gonna get the speed draw is gonna get posted tomorrow, but um, there was a delay on it just because yesterday actually turned out to be kind of hectic, and so by the time the day was over, I was really tired, and because today I had school and I had to go to bed anyways, because if I didn't go to bed, then I just would have been tired this morning, and that would have been rough. I hate school like so much. But anyways, beyond that, um, I did have fun doing this challenge. It was a really good challenge for me to learn how to draw a bunch of things, so I'm very glad I did it. It just was hell because there were so many drawings in one day. But after a while, you learn to get used to it, and now that I don't have the 10 a day, I don't really know what to do with my life anymore. So I'm just going to keep drawing, keep doing what I was doing before the 10 a day, and we're going to have a good time that I hope you guys will join me for later on. So, um, bye guys. Thanks for watching.